Welcome to Tinker Club. Today, let's make some paper aeroplanes. There are three planes that we're going to be making today. We have our standard glider, our stunt plane, and last of all, and I think the coolest, is our flying circle. Yeah, you're gonna learn how to make a pizza circle paper fly. Let's get started. First up, we're gonna make our glider. A4 piece of paper and portrait running up and down. This is a quite a simple plane and a good place to start. We're going to fold over, looking to line up at the corners, press down in the middle, then we're going to slide up and down, get a nice crease. Once we've there and holding, we're going to run our finger nice and firmly along it. Make sure we've got a nice sharp crease. Start in the middle and move to the outsides when you're wanting to make our crease. Then we're going to fold it back open. I, maybe because I'm right handed, I always start in my right corner. I'm going to fold that in until our top edge here almost touches our center line there. Okay. Hold it down, start creasing it where the nose of our plane is going to be, up the top here. And then I'm going to run my finger down and then crease it, starting in the middle and moving out. Next, take my left corner and bring it to meet the middle. And we want the bottom two corners here, right here, matching up crease it at the nose there's a tiny little gap at the top that doesn't matter and then starting at the middle we run down there we go a lot of people when making a plane at this stage fold over and start to try and make their wings here but there's an important step that we have to do to make sure it gives our plane more stability through the air and more strength in the wings so it can take the force of the air pushing it up. We're going to once again get our diagonal edge here, fold our edge over into the middle. If you can keep a finger on our flat flap here so it doesn't fly, slide across as we fold. We want to hold it down there, lining up just to the middle, millimeter off the middle, holding down, starting at the point and running our finger down it all the way to the end, back and forward a few times. Now I repeat the same with the left, getting this corner here to join with our corner in the middle, holding down our flap, holding it down so it doesn't slide across line it up in the middle paper airplanes are all about symmetry so it's more important that we get our dots our corners here lined up well and then how close it is to the middle because if our wings are different sizes it's not going to fly very well so there i've got a nice crease and now from my original line that I fold in half, I can fold my plane up and I'm just going to recrease it, run up and down sides of those wings, on the top of the wings there. Okay. Now it's time to make our wings. Bottom part along here is going to be called our fuselage and what we're going to do we're going to once again take our top edge of our wing and fold it so it lines up with our bottom edge of our fuselage. So take that over, fold it down. This is a little tricky at that nose of the cone because there's lots of layers of paper. You might need to stick your finger in there, give it a little bit of help. 
lying up along the edge, starting in the middle. We run our finger back down there. Flip it over, and we're going to do the other side. Top edge, lining up with our bottom fuselage. Finger at the cone end to help it fold in. Line it up, hold it in place. Might take you a couple of goes, that's okay. Once the crease is made, you can't really undo it, so better to take your time. Start in the middle, and hopefully we get our wing tips at the back here to line up. Now I crease it out. And I hold out the wings. And there's our plane. At the moment, you can see that the wings angle down. You just want to flex them up a bit at the tail because that's going to give them more lift. And there we have a nice plane it's going to be quite easy to make and easy to throw now you've finished your glider let's have a look at how you throw it you're holding it you want to hold it about one third back from the end if you hold it too far at the back it's going to go straight up in the air not going to fly very well then aim it out in front and throw it try throwing it different ways throwing it up a bit down a bit and how hard you throw it to get the perfect flight. Now, let's make our stunt plane. For our stunt plane, we're going to start with our paper in our landscape, our horizontal position. What we need to do, we need to fold down halfway. Okay, lining up your edges carefully across the bottom. And say in the middle, crease it out. And you can use your fingernail to run along the crease to get it nice and smooth. Then we're going to open it back out again. And we're going to have yeah, stuck together very well, it's creased so nicely. We're going to fold it back open, and we can see we've got this nice line in the middle that we're going to use to be lining things up with. We're going to take the top edge now, fold it down to meet that middle crease that we just made, holding it at the edges, starting in the middle and running our fingers out. As always, nice sharp creases. You might want to fold it over, flip it over to help you crease the other side. It's going to help it hold its shape well. We're going to grab the top again and fold down to meet our middle line again. So repeating that same fold. You'll notice the paper is coming thicker. It'll be a little bit harder to crease. Flip it over, creasing both sides. You can see that I've got my fold in a half we, we started with. And taking where we've doubled up our paper, we're just going to fold it over there like that. Okay, next we're going to fold it in half. Now, if you watch when I fold it, it goes all crumply because of all the layers of paper. They're all trying to fold at once. It doesn't make it even. When we put our finger in, line up the two corners, put your finger in, and you can pull it tight and that's going to help start you see rounding it out as I pull it it's coming down into a point which I can now squish together with my fingers and run along the back and put down on the table to finish it off making that nice strong crease now about a thumb width two if you've got little hands we're going to make our wing. Fold it down, keeping the front edges nice and aligned. So from the back side it looks like that. Folding down. So then running my finger down along it. 
flip it over and doing the other side, lining up the tips of our wings with each other. Once again, thick paper, here making it hard to fold. So I'm going to put my finger in there, help round it over to give me an easier part to crease. Line up my edges and make my crease. Put it down on the table to smooth out with a finger. And there I have my fuselage and wings. We've got one last step we're going to make. With our edges of our wings, we're going to fold them up now. We're going to fold them up about one centimeter. So lining up the front here, folding up. I'm going to fold it over my finger like that because as we said last time, still thick paper. Line it up, fold it down and crease it out. Do the same to the other side. Do your best to get the same amount of fold on the other side because that's gonna keep your wings nice and even. The best way to do that is if you fold them back under, you can see where one end, where the wings line up here so I can line up my fold. So fold it, keeping it nice and flat, folding up so it's in line with the tip of the other wing. And now we have a stunt glider ready to experiment with. So now you've got a cool stunt plane to fly. This stunt plane is a little bit tricky in the way we throw it. You can throw it holding underneath. You can throw it holding it upside down. You can throw it holding, holding it sideways. Try all different ways and see what kind of loops you can get it to do. Last one to go is our cool flying circle. So it's a regular piece of A4 paper and we've got it horizontal or in the landscape position. We're going to take this top edge and fold it down about one third. You don't need to get out a ruler to measure. And what you'll notice when you fold it for one third, there will be about the same amount of paper doubled up here as in a single layer down there. Line up your corners, holding it down, starting from the middle, increase it across to the sides. Now our second fold, we're going to take our top edge we just folded, fold it over again and line it up with our bottom edge here. Now if you hold your fingers against the bottom edge as you fold it over, it'll make sure that they line up nicely and the fold doesn't move around. Once again, lining up in the corners, hold it down starting at the middle and spreading out to the side. Okay, getting a nice good crease in there, running your fingers backwards and forwards. Next, we're going to do the same thing again, taking our top fold here, folding it over, okay. lining, lining it up again, then creasing across. Get a nice good crease. You might want to flip it over, rub it on the other side, getting a nice crease in there, folding it back. And then that last one we just made a crease, we're going to fold it back open again. And we can see we've got a crease line along here. Next step, flip it over so we're on that flat side where you can see any folds. And then on the edge of our table, we're going to roll it back and forward. You can hear it crumpling. As we're softening up that edge, so later on it's going to make it for easier folding. So moving it back and forward, back and forward, and you can see it's starting to get a bit of a curve in it. 
Okay, if I put it there, you can see it's starting to curve. Let's keep going a little bit more, opening up that edge, rolling it back and forward, back and forward. Now this might take you a little bit more time or less time. Feel free to pause the video while you wait. Then I've got a nice edge there and it's starting to sit in a nice curve. Okay, so we're going to lay it back flat down on the table. You can see my ends are sticking up. In this corner here, you'll have a double layer, a single layer, and then our back flap. Let's put a finger between the double layer and the single layer. So, see there, put a finger in there. Keep that flap open. What we're going to do, we're going to bring down the other end, bring it round, and we're going to, how we've softened it, it makes it easier to bring round. We're going to slide in, oh, slipped out, I'm going to slide it in to the hole just there. We want to slide it in about two to three centimeters. For adults, that's probably about twice the width of the thumb. For your little kitties, that's probably three or four widths of your thumb. So you can see I've slid it in there nicely. When I pinch there, it's starting to hold it together as a circle. Okay, next, this is the tricky part. You'll be able to see around the edge here that there's a very faint line from where we creased it last time. Holding on in the middle, so I put my hand through the back and I'm holding it onto the middle where the joint is. I'm going to fold over along that crease in the middle and pinch it in there. It's gonna get a little bit ugly here. Okay, but hold it there, making sure it doesn't slip. You just work your way around, pushing down from the outside, flattening on the inside, pushing that outside edge down. And when you get all the way around, a little magic happens and it just seems to flatten itself all out. Not quite a circle there, looking a bit squished. I'm just going to keep working around, making sure that crease is nice and flat. Okay, get a nice circle there. And now we could finish there, but if you notice at the back, there's this flap that still flaps up here. So what we're going to do with that flap is get about two to three millimeters. And like we did on the top section, we're going to fold it round the edge. Just going around. You can see where it's, it might actually split open a bit here, but as I come round, I get back to there and I can crease it down more. We come round, creasing it down. And it's going to hold it together. And there you have it. A nice <clears throat> circle that's going to fly. Our last plan you've made is our flying circle. Now this is probably the most trickiest one to throw. You want to hold your hand around the outside. When you throw it, you're going to be spitting down with your fingers, spinning your wrist. That's going to give it the rotations to help it fly through the air. You can actually throw this harder than you think, but it's all about getting the spinning on the wrist. I hope you've had a lot of fun making the paper aeroplanes. Why don't you try little things to see if you can make it fly even better. You can fold up the edges to see if that makes it more aerodynamic like on our stunt plane. We have some nice tail fins there. Or you might want to even fold the wings all the way in again. 
and make like a dart that you can throw really hard. The experimentation's up to you. I wonder how far can you throw your plane? Okay, keep making those planes and having fun. Bye. <laughs>